Hey, my name is Javi, and welcome to the second episode of Drabi the Hong. And I'm really glad about the positive reception that the first video got. And if you guys missed that first video, you can check it out. Links in the description. And for those of you who missed that last video, I should let you know that Drabi the Hong is a new series that I'm doing on my channel where I just draw your requests specifically from Twitter. I put out a tweet not too long ago. Uh, it was actually today on the day that I'm recording. So that's nice. And here is the tweet. I asked you guys to retweet with your request attached. All of you guys here, this is the pool of people that I'm going to select my request from. I am using a random name picker and I actually took the time to manually input all of your guys' name in here. Yes, manually. It sucked ass. So next time I send out a uh, Drabi the Hong tweet, just follow the instructions. I'll probably I'll probably do something that is easier on myself rather than inputting all your names in a random name picture. Anyway, let's get into your requests, shall we? I shall just pick a random name here. Boop. Okay, who the hell is this? I like that go to and i'm gonna look for your quote tweet oh it was right there the first one okay warframe seren prime trust me she is thick we will see about that flamined at flamined 11. i don't know anything about warframe i don't even know who this is but damn she thick and that is an awesome design and it looks complicated as hell but i will do my best to draw your request and we shall begin I'm really exaggerating her features here. <laughs> When talking about the response to the last Drabi the Hong video, I really do appreciate you guys that gave me some constructive feedback, not only for the uh, video itself, but for my drawing. And as a major drawing tip, you guys have to uh, learn how to distinguish assholes from people who actually want to help you. And I feel that you just kind of had to get better at that at time because I think at the beginning when people draw, uh, they can't handle criticism as well. And I, I have been there. I have been there. That should be fine, actually. And I think I'm just gonna draw directly on top of my rough sketch here because I actually really like the, I guess, the gestural look. I wanna keep my lines simple. Woo wee! Did I draw her too thick? Leave a like on this video if I drew her too thick. really simplifying her design here just for the sake of time and for the sake of my sanity. The heck is this tumor on her leg? That's kind of nasty. There's my extremely simplified version of this Warframe character, and I think I'll just do some basic coloring and then we can move on. Right, and right now, I think I want to darken up that gray just to give it a little more contrast with the white. There we go. That looks pretty nice. Yes. <laughs> Those look like really sad eyes, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Yet again. 
give some some volume, some weight to the bagungos. Okay, uh, there is Saren. I might have gone a little overboard with this one. It took a while. It took longer than I expected. I don't know. What do you What do you guys think? Should I spend this much time on each of the requests? Because if so, then five is the perfect amount. Thank you very much, Flamind. I hope she's thick enough for your liking. Just add a little final touch here. All right, then. Let's get back to our random name picker. Here we go. Would Shockwave make for a cute grill? Very excellent question, Jimmy. Well, the funny thing about that, I actually already drew Shockwave as a girl a while back. It even got retweeted by Aaron Hansen of Cutie Saturday. Thank you so much, Eagle Raptor. There she is. It's the Shockwave girl. This was part of uh, my Doki Doki Decepticon Club. It was from a while back, so the gesture of it kind of uh, flawed, but uh, general, not, not bad, not bad. Wish I would have made Starscream a little more distinct, but I could just leave your request at that. Would Shockwave make a cute grill? However, let's do a rough Shockwave girl design torso up. But why does she have large briefs, you might be asking? Well, I am basing it off of the original Shockwave G1 design. Shockwave has got the tata. And directly from there, I think I'm just gonna color it in. I think that's a better way to do it. But before we get to coloring, I do want to clean it up. What's wrong with her face? I don't know. My idea was just that she would have like a full faced helmet or something. And for a skin tone, I kind of want to make her really pale. I, I really want it to be like eerily, eerily pale. Yeah, like that, like borderline dead. That's what I want. dark background's gonna do is really make this big old yellow eye stand out. She kind of looks like she's smiling. skin so that she doesn't look too dead. There you go. To answer that age-old question of would Shockwave look cute as a girl? You be the judge. All right, so that was our second one. We're going to do our third one now. Wow, this is re this recording session is moving at a slow pace, but I don't mind because drawing is fun. And I should mention that all of these pictures that I'm posting right now, they will be available on my Tumblr. And my Tumblr is my art exclusive blog. That's uh, just to let you know, here it is. And be careful, I do post 18 plus stuff occasionally. Let's go to our next request. Hui! Draw your Galvatron. For those of you who don't know, let me just show you how my Galvatron looks real quick. There she is. God, I suppose this is going to be the purple cute girl episode. That's kind of a weird common thing that's going on with all of these requests. Don't worry. 
worry, guys. It's not going to be too spicy. If you guys know what Galvatron transforms into, you probably get the joke I'm going for already. And always remember to flip your canvas just to see if it's it looks wonky when you reverse it because that happens all the time. Just exaggerate that mouth shape a little bit more. Exaggeration, never a bad thing, but you do have to do it carefully. So dumb. <laughs> Should I color her? Just like I did with the shockwave and all that? Yeah, why not? And just to get reference on her colors, I'm going to bring in a Megatron drawing that I did before. At some point, you have to ask yourself, am I happy? I'm not talking about in life. I, I mean, like, when you're working on a drawing, you have, to, you have to realize when to stop. And even though I could definitely go farther with this, you know, tighten it up, maybe get some more effects in there. I think this is a good place to stop. You get the joke, guys. Smack that like button. Uh, oh, Jemmy, again, with Shockwave made for... Well, let, let's do it again. No. <laughs> How about your favorite witch girl, Susie? Okay, I'm down for that. I like Susie. She's a cutie. That was a good show, by the way, Little Witch Academia. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I would definitely recommend checking it out. It's on Netflix. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> don't, don't do the drug, kid. <laughs> Big old doinks. This is a, it's a frame that I, that I based it on. There it is. Susie passed that shit. And Rage Tomato, thank you so much for your request. Who will it be? Our final requests of the night. Hey, come on, Dalton. You calm down with those requests. You only get one. Oh. And if you guys watch Beast Wars, Black Arachne and, and Silver Boy, if, if I remember, they were a pretty cute couple. The first Transformers couple that I've ever been aware of in history. A spider lady and furry man. So let's draw them. How relationships work, right? I forgot. God, this whole silver bolt black arachnia thing. It reminds me of like old Transformers AMVs. Well, technically they're not AMVs because they weren't anime, but music videos, fan videos. And there was one about black arachnia and silver bolt that introduced the song to me that I wish I could forget because it's so catchy and so corny. And you guys know Lifehouse? I'm hanging by a moment here with you. Let it go, roll I hear <laughs>
You know what? I'm, I'm just going to stop there. That is Silverboat and Black Arachnia. Thank you so much to who the hell requested this piece of shit. Not Morning Shorts, not Enraged to May. Daltonians, TFs. Thank you. And thank you everyone for requesting drawings for me to draw on this episode of Drawby the Hong. Let me know what you think, guys. Leave a comment, uh, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more toy reviews and otherwise. Let's Plays coming up, hopefully, and more drawing videos coming to you soon. And guys, if you want to be part of the next Drawby the Hong, please follow me on Twitter. I will post another request tweet on there. Just keep a watch out for that. And may love always be in your heart. Hanging by your moment. We're hanging by your moment. We're done. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>